Hello everyone, I'm Xiaolong Li from Virginia Tech. Today I will present our work on category level articulated object pose estimation. This is a joint work with collaborators from Stanford, Google Research, and Columbia University. Ho Wang and I equally contribute to this work. Our work tackles the problem of pose estimation for articulated objects in given categories. Given a 3D depth point crowd, the goal is to predict part poses, part segmentation, part A model bounding boxes together with joint states and joint parameters. Here we show results on holdout object instances of eyeglasses, oven, washing machine, laptop, and drawers. Our methods can generalize well to novel instances, handling huge variations in articulation, viewpoint, and self occlusion pattern. We introduce our novel representation. Articulation of well normalized the coordinate space hierarchy, or ANCH for short. ANCH is a two level hierarchy of canonical spaces composed of normalized articulated object coordinate space knocks as a root level and normalized part coordinate spaces MPCS, as a leaf level. In knocks, we first set the object articulations to the same predefined states like red angles for the regular joints of eyeglasses, then align their orientations. Furthermore, objects are centered and their scales are normalized. MPCS performs further centering and scale normalization to each individual part. One MPCS provides a reference frame for each part, which defines the category pose for one part. Under our hierarchical normalization, MPCS is an ideal place to study part attributes. On a high level, NOX is a canonical space for studying joint parameters, like joint location and orientation. In summary, ANCH constructs a learning-friendly canonical representation, which can facilitate intercategory generalization. To learn ANCH representation, we leverage a PolyNet++ based neural network. It jointly predicts part segmentation, dense coordinate predictions in each MPCS, transformation from each MPCS to NOX, and joint parameters in NOX. To infer the axis orientations and pivot locations, our novel joint prediction head performs a voting-based regression. Given the dense 3D correspondence between depth point crowd and anxious predictions, we perform part pulse fitting using RANSAC. However, separately fitting each part pulse could easily violate joint constraints like the laptop base and screen may not align well on the hinge. To solve this problem, we add an added term for each predicted joint to enforce kinematic chain constraints, and then optimize part poses jointly. Our method can generate consistent and more accurate part poses. Here we show the pose estimation results on eyeglasses category with three parts. We use per part mean rotation error, translation error, and 3D IOU as evaluation metrics. We compare our method with baselines using MPCS or NOx without leveraging kinematic chain constraints. Our method reduces 60 post error and improves 3D IOU. ANCH also enables highly accurate joint parameter estimation, including joint axis orientation and pivot point location. We first predict joint parameters in the NOx where joints are always in their canonical state, and then transform the predictions into the camera space using predicted part poses. Our method significantly outperforms a similar voting-based PolyNet++ network, which directly regresses joint parameters in the camera space. We test our model trained on a simulation data directly on real-world depth images from an instance-level post-estimation dataset. Here are the results on the cabinet instance with both 1D Revolut and 1D Prismatic joints. To conclude, we present an approach for category level post estimation of articulated objects. To accommodate unseen object instances with large intercategory variations, we introduce a novel object representation, ANCH, and a deep neural network capable of predicting ANCH from a single depth image. Our experiments demonstrate our method significantly improves the accuracy for both part post prediction and joint parameters estimation. Data and code are available on project pages. Thank you.